at this point, if we take a look at the PNID, we can see that the line, this pyron, says it's correlated. So all the information is in sync. It's just missing some elements. So there, there is a topology uh, difference between the PNID and the um, model. So let's take care of that inserting components on this line. Once I click, uh, what, what, once I set a software that I need to insert a component on this branch, he goes to the PNID and asks me to select what element do I want to insert. In this case, I will start with this trainer. This trainer has a tag number and um, there is a, a trainer with that tag number on the catalog so it plays the correct strainer from the catalog. Once it's placed, the PNID will change that strainer to green. So you can see the strainer is placed, it turned green. Let's select now the valve. So he knows it's a ball valve and it's on the spec so I can just place the valve. At this point, everything is green. The line has not turned green because I will need to model this branch and this branch as well. And we can see that if we select the pyron and we select the compare design basis option. He will tell me exactly what I'm missing. So uh, as you can see, all this information is correct. But if I go to topology, He's telling me I have my components, but I'm missing my two branches that connect to this uh, pipe. So at this point, I will uh, hand over the control to the to a friend to make some changes on the PNID and see how these changes reflect on the model. Okay, thanks, Santos. Uh, so what we will do now is to play a little bit with with uh, this integration. So we will add a new component here in the in the PNID. We will add a control valve, and the intention is place the control valve, retrieve the information in SPI, uh, we will see the amount of information we can retrieve in SPI, and beside that, we will add some dimensions to this control valve to be retrieved in Smart Plan 3D according to the parameters we set up in a smart plan instrumentation. So what I will do is just to go to my catalog and look for a instrument valve. Okay. So let's go to the catalog, inline components, valve, way common, and at this point I will add a globe valve. Okay. Okay, so okay, so I will just add an item tag to this valve. So the measure variable will be and actually first of all, I will create a new loop because I want to retrieve this loop in um, in uh, a smart plan instrumentation. So in a smart plan plan ID, and we we will see that later during the the standalone demo, we can store in a stockpile the loops, okay? So what I will do is to create a flow loop. So I will create a flow loop. Let me just create a flow loop here, instrument loop. I have my new loop here, and I will call it F1040, for example, okay? Now I will go to my control valve, and I will say that the measure variable is flow, F, the instrument type modifier is V, valve, and the tag sequence number uh, is 1040. So as you can see, the loop is assigned automatically to the valve. Beside that, let's add the specification to this valve. Let's say that the specification to this valve is um, 1C0031, for example, okay? So now, after this small change, we are ready to publish again this PNID 
to do how those changes are reflected in the 3D model and to, and to see what we will get in SPI. So I will close the PNID, open the drawing manager to publish again this PNID. Now we can keep the same revision and publish just a new version or you can create a new revision. So it's, it's up to the project, let's say. So let's right click here, Smart Pan Publish. Remember, when we published before, it was version four. So now it should be version five after these changes. Okay, as you can see, now we have version five. We only have to go ahead and publish. So again, right now it's taking the whole information and creating the XML file with all the information that we have in the PNID. Actually, the whole PNID can be retrieved in the Smart Plan Foundation that, that, by the way, act as another authoring tool. So you can retrieve that information in the Smart Plan Foundation as well. And you can see that the, the whole PNID, you can do some markup. Uh, so it's, 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 um, it's more big that we are showing here right now. We are just showing a small part of the integration, okay? Okay, so now I can go ahead to Smart Plan Instrumentation and retrieve the PNID we just published. So what we have to do is just to go to Smart Plan, Retrieve, and uh, we, we will get now the last version of the PNID we just published. Okay, as you can see here, it's version five. You can just select this one, click OK, and now the Smart Plan Instrumentation Adapter is uh, creating the information or is placing the information in the to-do list. From the to-do list, you will be able to decide which items you want to create or if you want, if you decide not to create some of the items. Okay. The document have been retrieved successfully. Let's close this. And again, if you go to our plan based structure, nothing is there. Okay? Just something that we have before. But if we go to the to do list, we will have all the information coming from the PNID. As you see, we have here the possibility to create process equipment, line, instruments. So we see some create tasks. If we go down, we see some of data. What it means, for example, for the valve we just created, we created the valve FB1040, and here is the create task. If we click in properties, we see all the information that is coming from PNID. Okay? So you see the process function type, there is a control valve, the instrument type, and actually at this stage, when, and we will see this in the standalone demo, when you create an instrument from the scratch in SPI, it uses an instrument type. In the instrument type, you have all the profile of the instrument. Is the instrument have a cable, if, a, a, if, if have a specification sheet, or if the instrument is located on the field. All that information is taken from the profile. And using the integrated environment, we can do that as well. Okay? So then we have a couple of update tasks for the same instrument. So if we locate the instrument in the, um, the to-do list and we click here in update, this is just to assign the loop to the instrument. And the other one is to assign the line to the instrument. So I won't execute the whole uh, to-do list. I will just select what I need right now for the demonstration. So I will select the process equipment, the line, I will select the um, couple of instruments that I want to show you. So create this instrument, this loop. Uh, of course, the loop I just created for the demo, the change we did in the PNID, the control valve. I will select the um, temperature indicator here. Let's go down and select some update tasks. 